I'm Georgia Lenahan. I live here in Kennesaw, and tomorrow will be my 30th competition, making me a master judge tomorrow. I had a delicious, it was mushroom with a sausage in it with a little kick. I loved it. This was a stuffed uh, green pepper uh, with a sausage with cheese on top and had a little meatball. Not that punch. Uh, whatever was here was covered with um, brown sugar. Just what a good mixture. And everyone loved this the best. I love the texture. It was a, a, a meat, a ground meat covered with um, um, crispy breadcrumbs and then the inside was a, was a cheese with a tomato sauce. But for me, I needed more, more, more punch to it. It just needed, it, it, it had a good Italian flavor. And then whatever was here had a good, it had a crust on the bottom and the texture wasn't so good, but the taste was spot on. So sometimes you can get part, sometimes you can get the whole thing together. You never know. Thank you, ma'am. Real quick. Oh. <laughs> Everything we have was wonderful. The pepper was just outstanding. All the different things in it, the pasta, the tomatoes, wonderful. Hi, my name's Ava Monger, and I've been cooking for about a month, and I'm cooking six turkey burger sliders, and it's going, it ha it's going to have a topping with a tomato relish on top. And have you cooked these before? Yes. How many times have you practiced? Um, about 20. Okay. How many kids are cooking tonight? Um, 13. This was the Kids Q contest where they had turkey to uh, display and to give us to try. Being turkey, most of the entries were kind of dry. Uh, being Kids Q, they were very creative in their uh, design and, and what they presented to us seemed like number four to me was one of the best tasting it really presented just like a barbecue contest with some good bacon and barbecue sauce on it yeah, we had six entries uh, they all look pretty uh, uh, pretty uh, I was impressed with that uh, I was glad that nothing was undercooked but uh, the uh, turkey tended to be a little bit uh, overdone. Um, we had sort of a variety of presentations. Some had egg, which was unexpected, but was uh, tasty. We had another one with bacon and barbecue sauce that I really liked. And another one was sort of a Mexican thing with uh, peppers on it. So overall, I think the kids did a great job. Oh. These kids really knocked it out of the park. The kids, uh, and the one that had the bacon and the jam on it, that was superb. And 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 the one that had the eggs had a had a sauce on it that I really loved. And to be kids, Q, they did a great job. I agree with this gentleman to my left. This uh, anything with bacon in it, especially this one with the sauce, is amazing. I'm putting everything in my box because I want to eat each uh, eat each and every last bite of all this burger. It's really good. The pork rinds is amazing, also. Uh, first of all, the kids did a fantastic job. It's nice to see them making healthy items for us. Hopefully, it'll be an American trend. Uh, the bacon and the barbecue sauce. Uh, this one was excellent. Uh, superb flavor. Number one, extremely moist. Uh, Contesta did with the uh, pita bread, smart. Uh, the bread was very crisp. The meat was extremely favorable. Uh, very good job. All the kids did an excellent job. My favorite one was was this one right here. It tastes like a professional cook. It was great.
Alright, get up a pair of scissors uh, right here behind you, uh, in the top drawer. Cut that tin off right there. Go this way, right there. Number one was my favorite. It uh, was both tender and had very good taste. The last two was very heavy on the pepper to my taste. I liked number three the best, I thought. Uh, the, the uniqueness of the drumstick compared to uh, most of the thighs that I've seen is... Uh, interesting and they did a really good job of the flavor it was it had some flavor to it but it was not overly spiced uh, I actually liked uh, number two I like the appearance the uniqueness of the uh, cut had an excellent taste um, number four uh, start off really good uh, kind of ended with a little bit of a pepper bite for me and the last one a uh, little little bit too much sauce kind of took away from the uh, smokiness of the chicken itself Number one was a well-cooked piece of thigh. Uh, number two, the lollipop, I felt the skin was not cooked enough. It was very hard to chew through. Um, the uh, number three and number four chicken legs were well done, presented well, and except for number five, the four was uh, uh, very spicy. And number six thigh, I thought was a well well cooked uh, piece of meat. I thought the chicken overall was uh, really well done. I really liked one and two. I thought they were excellent. Uh, three and four were pretty spicy but but cooked nicely and uh, least favorite was number five but overall very good. Thank you. Yeah I think the chicken was uh, very close. It was all, all pretty good. Uh, number uh, three was a little spicy, but number four, I like number four better than all. It had a little spice to it, but it was extremely tender, very tender. Well, first of all, uh, thank you to the teams for all the hard work in preparing these samples for us to, to judge today. Uh, the, among the batch of five samples here, the, the best uh, to me was the number five. It uh, had the best uh, moisture and uh, the, the, best, the, the overall best taste of the lot. Uh, Entry number one was was the one that was uh, least of the best of the entries. Uh, the uh, this entry was tough and dry, and there was an awful lot of rub uh, on top of the entry, which uh, gave it a very uh, spicy uh, flavor, which uh, you could not taste the meat or the smoke flavor uh, in the sample. Again, number five was the. Uh uh, excellent choice of um, the way they cooked it. It was well done, uh, tenderness, good flavor. Uh, number one, though, I did like it. it. Was a dry rub rib, which is a little different than what we normally see. Uh, it was a little, little drier, a little tougher than some ribs, but it was not a fall off the bone. It was more of a contest type rib, and I did enjoy that. Um, uh, the rub was spicy, but that's part of um, getting a good rib. I concur with my fellow judges. Number five was a clear winner, the standout in this uh, sample of ribs. Um, I do uh, want to applaud number three for um, giving us just a little fruit flavor, which is something that's a little unusual in the southeast, um, but it was uh, very enjoyable.
Thanks. Um, I also had a little trouble with number one. My piece was very tough, and I thought the salt was a little, and the particular piece I had was a little overpowering the meat. I agree that five was excellent. Mine, the meat fell almost right off the bone, and I'd like it maybe a little less cooked, but it was very good, and overall I thought number four probably hit the best balance. Again, I concur with everybody else. Number one was too tough, and it was salt, very salty, I thought. Um, but the rest of them, I, I really liked the rest of them. I thought they were all equally good. Joe, um, cooking team, we appreciate you so much. This was an excellent serving of ribs. I'm glad to see people in this in this area and around surrounding areas can cook ribs. They were all very, very tasty. Each one had its own unique and best qualities, and some had its own very special qualities. We appreciate you so much. Thank you for your cooking today. My wife is really good at that. That's her job. Ah. Since you're the OC one. What's that? Putting uh, luggage in a car to go on a vacation or a trip. Luggage? Yeah. Like putting meat in a box? Oh. It's like playing Tetris? Pretty much. That's why he does it. I throw everything in the Walmart sack and put on the back seat. <laughs> Barbecue's a visual thing. It is. It's like that guy told me earlier. I said, you can film as much as you want. Because your team looks professional. Like, you know, a lot of guys just wearing t-shirts and it kind of meant a lot to me. I'm like, oh, we did something right. Thought it had a real good taste, real good texture. Uh, it was just some just good barbecue. All in all, a good pork uh, showing here at the contest. Um, number one had uh, good flavor, um, good texture. Uh, two, uh, the same. Uh, number three had three entries. The medallion, that was very good. And uh, some pull that was good, but there was another piece that was kind of dry and chalky. The box was almost competing with itself in that regard. My favorite was number four. It had perfect texture, uh, wonderful flavor, and it had, it had a pulled and a medallion flavor. And unfortunately, number five uh, was just mushy when you picked it up. Um, so I uh, had to market that a little bit for that. But, but all in all, a good showing for pork. Uh, pretty solid round of pork. I think my favorite was number four. I agree that the entries were nicely done. My favorites for one and two in their taste and tenderness. And number five was a bit salty. And I thought number one and number two were pretty good. Uh, number three was my best. Um, it was real tender, real moist. And um, number four was had a good taste, but it was real real mushy, over, overdone. And I thought number five was was average. <laughs> Yeah, like they do on, on Pitmasters. Or any TV show. There's right. Yeah. yeah. But I do see that they have to make it pretty, though. Uh, yes. They the presentation. Plating. Plating, yeah. They the, have to um, make it presentable. One of the criteria for judging is appearance. Uh -huh. The next one is taste. And the second, third one is tenderness. Okay. New that thing bends. The bone is actually overcooked. Yes. Look, it bends, but it doesn't break. Yes. Yeah, you want to be able to you do... You want to just bend and it not break. You want to be able to do that. Wow. He's a one-man crew. Awesome. This weekend, anyway. Aw. Well, you're doing a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, looks good awesome. luck to you. Yeah, good luck to you, okay? Thank y'all. You're welcome.
Okay, we had five entries of brisket. Uh, my first entry had a combination of uh, sliced and burnt ends. Uh, surprisingly, the uh, they had a different taste profile. The uh, slice I thought was pretty bland, and the burnt end was very salty. Uh, on the positive side, number one tend to be the most tender of, of all of our entries uh, today. Uh, our second guy did slices and chopped, and as it turns out, I really preferred the chopped. It had uh, uh, better texture and uh, actually I think better flavor somehow. My, th my third entry had a little issue. I, I'm not the professional cook, but I don't think he sliced it correctly across the grain, which tended to make it uh, very tough trying to bite into it. My uh, fourth entry did both slices and burnt ends. You know, it was it was pretty, um, but it was just bland. There just wasn't any uh, beefy flavor there. My final entry, um, again, this one was just a little too bland. I just didn't have any beefy flavor, and I thought the the burnt end was a little bit too firm also. Well, it was an interesting selection of meat. The first uh, slice uh, was overcooked, um, kind of broke off in little chunks. I'm not sure what happened during the cooking process. Um, moving on to this entry, also, um, I'm not sure if it was a result of the type of injection they used. It was extremely salty, uh, even though I applauded their courageousness for putting chopped meat in with the slices as opposed to the pr more predictable burn ends that you see so bravo for that um, this entry was tender but maybe bordering on a little mushy um, the flavor was uh, okay it had a nice smoke flavor moving on to this entry um, also dry it was cut rather thick and um, I'm not quite sure what happened here, even though it had a nice bark to it, but um, it had more bark than bite. Ooh. Anyway, moving on to this one, um, also not the most ideal brisket for me, um, even though it was tender, it was kind of bland. Um, so I'm not quite sure what happened there in the last one. Um, and again, I just took slices this time. I didn't want to have to compare or get into a position of averaging or having, having you know, judged someone's burn end against their slice. So this one was also kind of ordinary. Um, it was a little dry, a little on the dense side. Um, the pull test didn't hold up with this one, so I'm not sure quite how they sliced this one. But, um, well, in all, it was an interesting selection of brisket. Okay, on the uh, first selection of brisket, it was uh, tasty, but it, a little salty. Um, let's see, the second one here was, I preferred the chopped brisket over the sliced brisket. The third one to me was way too salty, um, but edible. Um, see, the fourth one uh, had the slice and the nuggets. I preferred the nuggets. I thought that was real tasty. And see, the fifth one was the one that it was overcooked and mushy, but overall good brisket.